morning. Welcome to the Gaston Ranch School of Yards. My name is Karen Garrett and I'm going to teach you about line. That is the first element of design that we're going to learn about. Line is the visual path left by a moving point. Think about that. It's a point that moves. That means it's a line now. It's also a mark, guide, or boundary that leads the eye in an artwork. So notice when I went think and then went like that, you followed my hand. That's what line does within art. Differences in the type, orientation, and or quality of lines can be used to suggest a variety of ideas, states, and moods. For example, horizontal and curving lines can feel restful and inactive. So, horizontal, what does that make you think of? Maybe like a nice water, body of water, uh, the horizon. What if I go to like a curve, nice curve? Maybe some waves on the water, so that's restful and inactive. Vertical and diagonal lines can imply movement, so woo! See? That's vertical. Um, and diagonal. Think of airplanes taking off, stuff like that. They can imply movement or action. Combination of horizontal and vertical lines can suggest stability. So think of maybe a tree and the grass. There's some stability there. Or a column and the stone foundation, something like that. But that's what we're going to learn about with line. This is line assignment number one. We just talked about line, and I explained to you it's a point that moves in space, and that there are different ways of defining those lines. So you will see continuous, broken, loops, rugged, scribbled, dots, dashes, rhythmic, lines with dots, diagonal, cross-hatching, broad arcs, directional, sharp, interlocking, and ripples. So you're going to learn how to do all of those different kinds of lines because throughout your art career, whatever part of the designs that you're going to be doing, in whatever department, you're going to need to know how to do that. It doesn't seem hard, but I'm going to have you do each one. So here's how it goes. Continuous, and then here's continuous. So if you look at the continuous line, looks kind of like tree bark. So what we're going to do, I started this a little bit already so that you can see, but we're going to start at the edge. We're not going to just be all random and uh, messy. I'm going to use my pencil at first, and I might do a, a knot or two. Let's say I mess up, I go too far away. Uh oh, that's too bad. Well, I just have an eraser and I'm going to erase that. You can watch TV while you're doing this. You can talk to people just like I am doing with you. But just think about how to make it beautiful, not just ordinary. Start at the top, go to the ends. And when you're done making the lines the way you want, you know you're going to put this in your three ring binder in the end, so you want these to look nice. You're going to come back with your pen, and you're going to be smooth. You don't want to stay in one place very long, otherwise you'll get a blotch. And you don't want to do scratchy lines, like when they're supposed to be smooth. That goes with dots and dashes. So this is continuous, that means it starts, it never lifts up. It's very smooth. It looks wonderful. And continuous. When you're done and it's dry, you can erase. And it'll be really, really, really nice. Okay, so the next one's broken. The edges are different lengths, like something, the line was broken. So it didn't start the edge. And if you look at, for example, it's like little patches, right? So I'm going to 
go back with my pencil, make my broken patches so they look good. If I don't like it, I'm going to erase it with my pencil. Back to the pen. And the whole time I'm being mindful, I'm thinking to myself, these are broken lines. They don't go to the same, they're not, they don't aim in the same spot. This, when I was doing it, I was thinking, this is continuous line. Say those things to yourself. Loops. Okay, so think loops. To my pencil, just in case I mess up. And I'm thinking loop, 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 okay, loop, loop, loop. Loop, loop, this is a looping line, a looping line. And when you're done, back to here. So, looping lines, looping lines, just get that in your head. You're just saying it to yourself so that you know what it is that you're doing. So, I now know what continuous line is. I'm going to finish that out. Broken line, I'm going to finish that out. Loops, going to finish that whole piece out. And you're going to do the whole page. You can do this in carpool. You can take it to a friend's house. You can sit outside and do it. Um, you can really have a life, but what I really want you to do is be mindful of the kind of line that you are actually using when you draw. When you're finished, what you're going to do is take a picture of this on a vertical wall. I want to see every edge. I don't want to see any uh, shadows on that. You're going to label it properly, and you're going to put it in Submit Homework Here, Module 1. Okay, now we're on to assignment two. I hope that you're noticing that these are not going to be hard assignments. Like I said, I'm trying to commit to memory the element of design. This one is line. So you're going to need to use several days to do this. Don't wait until the last minute. All right, so draw your own abstract design in the rectangle below. Use all of the line styles from to assignment one. Use various sizes of black ink pens and marker to complete. Okay, so that's what we need. Now at this point, here's what I don't want to see in this rectangle. I don't want to see, this is my rectangle, draw an abstract design. Okay, I don't care, I really don't care. There you go. That's not enough spaces there's one space, two, three, four, five. That's not enough spaces to do 20 styles of line, okay? So, and it's unappealing. I don't want to see that. And, and the next thing I don't want to see is, well, I need 21, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. you know what I mean? I don't want to see that either. So, what I want you to do is look at the beautiful example right here, and I want you to be creative. I want to see the you in this. And plus, you guys, this is fun. This is good for us. All right, so I'm not gonna necessarily look at that, but before we get started on ours, I want you to look at this and say to yourself, okay, there's some very black places. There's big flowers, like medium, um, tiny. So you need to vary the sizes of things and spaces. Um, and some are um, organic. You could also go geometric. But whatever you do when you start, I want to see that you are mindful of drawing a design that's really fun. Now you could do something like this watching TV um, and you don't have to feel guilty because you're in school and you're watching TV doing your homework because that's kind of fun or you can sit out by the grill or do all kinds of things, um, sit in carpool, um, take a break from work if you take your art bag with you. So let's not get caught up in the details yet. Let's get caught up in the big design. All right, so if I were just going to do this, I'm going to show you in my mind. Pretend that this is mine. And so I would say, okay, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to draw, what is that called? A continuous line. And in my mind, I'm thinking, that was a continuous line. I think I need another one. So notice that I'm not getting caught up in any details. I'm just making the overall design that's continuous line. I'm saying it in my mind. Continuous line. It's flowing. Remember how we talked about that the first time? Okay. 
and now I'm not going to get caught up and stuck and start putting a detail in that yet because I have not finished my entire composition. So let's, okay, I might need some spirals in here that are medium sized. Things are overlapping each other. This is basically just a doodle. But I've noticed I'm starting with my pencil. So that if I don't like that and I say, I don't like, I don't want this to end right there. Oh, you just erase it. No big deal. If you start with pens because you're like, I don't have time for this, then you can't erase it. So finish that whole thing out. It's all finished. And then what I want you to do, once I see that you love your design, take your pen, maybe a, a five or whatever, 0.05, a small one, go over everything. And once it's all done, let's go back to this one. Once it's all done with pencil and pen, then you go back and you erase. So I held to tell you that on this page. So I want you to go back now that the pen is dry and erase all the pencil underneath it and you see how clean that looks. That's what you're going to do here. So I want you to use all of your sizes of markers or pens and say, okay, I don't see how this is a blacker line and then this is a thinner line. I want you to do the whole concept, composition, everything first with all four of your pen uh, sizes. Then, and only then, I want you to come back with your page and just start at the top. Where do I want to have this a continuous line, and remember, this is important to me that you learn to say those things in your own mind. So let's say this is going to be a space, and I want to do continuous line. Don't just go say I'm doing continuous line, I'm doing continuous line. This is an element of design. It's called continuous line. Continuous line. Okay, so what if I go here? How about if I do this one now? So that you make sure you get them all in. It'll make your composition a lot nicer anyway. So I'm going to say, what am I doing here? I'm doing broken lines. They're parallel and they're broken. See? Already, isn't that pretty cool? Then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to say, I'm going to do loops. Okay, uh, how about this one right here? I'm going to do loops. And this is just to start with a point. Remember, a line is starting with a point, and it just moves in the direction. So and now, how cool is that? It's starting to look like a shell, giving, giving it dimension. And I'm having fun. Please be mindful of your design. It's going to go into your three ring binder, and you're going to keep it forever. So just have a good time and make it look nice. All right, we're already on assignment three. I hope that you're on day three, and I think um, I've already tried to tell you that don't wait until the very last second. I want these done nicely so that you can get all of your points. I know you do too. This is assignment three. In the rectangle below, draw your favorite animal head. Use all of the drawing styles from page one in your design. Use your various sizes of black ink and marker to complete. Okay, so instead of the abstract line design, we're going to actually create something that we know ahead of an animal, your favorite animal. So I'd love to see what is your favorite animal. How do you start this? Well, first of all, I don't want to see this in this rectangle. I don't want to see, let's say it's the wolf. I don't want to see the rectangle with a wolf head that's this big. First of all, that looks sad in the middle of the rectangle. It's too small. And it's not big enough to have enough spaces for your different types of line. The composition isn't fun. It isn't interesting. And you need to make sure, since design needs to be appealing, to do something appealing. So let's say we're going to do the wolf. Let's try to do it bigger. You can have it centered if you want to. Or you can do something even more creative, less, less centered. Do 
do this with your pencil so you can erase. Start off with the outline um, of the head. And you know what, you can also use the background as a space too. So um, don't just leave it blank, this should not be blank. So once you get your uh, outline of your head, then you can start off, you know, you can do the nose and the mouth, you can do your eyes. Um, okay. Get that in there. Pretend that this is a pencil, okay? And so if I don't like something, what do I do? I just erase it. Roughing it in, and yes, I'm doing this upside down, so give me a break on it for the moment. Okay, some jaws, some hair, I mean fur. Okay, so, all right, now if I don't like something with my pencil, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna erase, make it really clean, make it not so messy. Maybe just right. I don't want something that I'm done. I'm going to take it off. I want to keep it clean. That's wiggly. See what I'm saying? Like, use your pencil. Make sure it looks nice. Now, at this point, in this, um, it has the one side that's realistic. I think that's very appealing. Um, so, why don't you do that? Otherwise, it'll be too full and too black. On the other side, now you're going to have to say, oh, how do I divide this up? Well, looky here. We've got the nose. It has a nice little shape to add there. You can, add, you can just go with the um, shapes that you see naturally. Triangles. Um, there we go. You can do, you know, like that. See a triangle instead of fur if you want to. Um, Again, remember when we did the abstracts? We started off with the big shapes first and then went to the details. Don't get caught up in details yet, just start dividing things out. Okay, this is the cheek, cheek. And this is not exactly um, clean, so I'm going to have to clean it up. Notice that there's some little leaves in there. It's like fur, but it's kind of like leaves too. Um, there's spirals in there that are nice. Eh, where would I do the spiral? So that's kind of what I wanted you to do, is get the whole thing laid out and then go back to your paper and let's start down here. Okay, so ripples. Okay, I think I'm going to do, kind of looks like fur if you turn it like this. Well, actually, I'm going to do this. This side looks like ripples of fur. So in this section of fur, I'm going to say to myself, okay, okay, well, first I need to design a, a shape. So ripples kind of looks like fur too. Two birds with one stone, see? Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next one, which is interlocking, and then I'm just going to find spaces and fill it up. I, I would design it just like this. I really love this design. I think this is boring. You know, I mean, it's okay if they're buying for like clip art, but this is becoming more like art. And if you can see into the future, wouldn't it be nice if this was all colored in with bright colors? So you got this nice, beautiful abstract line design, and then you've got this uh, clip art design, this black and white. So that's how you're going to do the head. You can work, start with your composition, a large composition. Give yourself plenty of spaces. You're going to go ahead and use your pens, all sizes, remember how we did on the abstract design, to work some are thicker lines, some are thinner, and then you're going to go back and start filling in with your details. Okay? You're going to take a picture of this completed on a vertical wall. Assignment number three, you're going to see the whole piece is not on a window, and you're going to submit that in. Submit homework here, module one, prior to the due date. Okay, so this is your last assignment. 
Like I told you, you're going to have four assignments every single week. Please don't wait till the last second to do this. Do one a day. They're not hard assignments. What I'm trying to tell you, though, is it's very important that you commit this understanding to your mind. So be mindful when you pick up a pencil what it is you're actually doing. So assignment four, we're going to use scribble line. This is scribble line. Here's your rectangle. Okay, so what you're going to do is a self-portrait. You can use your cell phone, find a portrait of yourself that you like, and you can um, click on it to make it into thirds. Let me see here. Find a picture. Oh, that was. All right, so this is one that I, just from the other day. So I'm going to take the photograph, and then I'm going to, let me see, edit. I'm going to push edit. That's my French, here's my studio. And then I'm going to push right down here. And I'm going to move this just a little bit. And do you see that it makes the third lines, thirds lines in there? So watch. Move it just a little bit, and it makes thirds lines. So I'm going to, first of all, since this is a vertical rectangle, this is a horizontal rectangle, so this is landscape, this is portrait, this won't work, right? So I'm going to have to edit that. Let me go ahead. Let me see. I'm going to take a picture of it, so I'll ruin it. And then I'm going to okay, take that. So I took a picture of it, and now I'm going to edit it correctly. Oops, let's see. Done. Okay, save two photos. All right, I'm going to go back to my photos. And there it is. Okay, so this is the one that I'm going to edit. Okay, so I'm going to say edit. And then I'm going to crop it, come on now, to where it's vertical. And it's me. Come on. <laughs> Why does it do that when I'm trying to? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's that. And ooh, come on. There we go. There we go. Now, I could have edited it to where it's like so, you know, huge. And that's not what we want. We want a close up of the face. So I'm going to do back to like that. And I want a little hair to add some interest for me there. I would not choose this picture because I just wouldn't, but there you go. There it is. So now at this point, I'm going to go back to edit. I'm going to push that. And I'm going to do this, right? And it's going to make my, um, go back. Okay, so I move it. I'd like to have my face. Right in the center is kind of ugh. So we're going to do it like that. And I'm going to move it again. Watch. I think I did it. Close. Nope, didn't do it. Try again. And it. Right here. Oh, see? So now I've done that, <coughs> and back. All right, so now here we are. So I have my picture. It has the thirds lines. I'm going to edit it one more time, taking off all of the excess.
pages, so don't have a, so two and three fourths probably two and three fourths. Okay. Two and three fourths ish, two and three fourths ish. Then we're going to draw that. Alright, so now that we have our first lines and they match my portrait. Oh, that's not right. If we scribble 
with the fat pen close together, you're going to come close to this black. If I scribble bigger scribbles farther apart, then I'm going to get kind of a gray. Let's go a little lighter. It's lighter, and let's go a little lighter. If, if it was skinnier, it would be a lot lighter, and then white. So I would use all of the pens that you have, but and I would make yourself a little tester on how to do that. So let me. Black is always the easiest place. So I got my. Uh, let's see. This is my bigger. No, that's not my biggest one. I got my biggest pen. Maybe. Probably start with your O5. I mean, I've been doing this a long time, so I would go straight for my blacks, but don't do that. Go ahead and just start off with your little baby. Where is it? It's .05. Yeah. Okay, and then what you're going to do is just be light. You can tell you don't want to have a bunch up here, so we do have a bunch over here. I can see that it's like a gray, it's like this kind of gray. So I'm going to do scribble, kind of right in that area. You don't have to go, you can go over the line because um, you're going to come back with a fatter pen eventually, yeah, and you're going to do really close together, see what I mean? Screw to my neckline. And then when you're all finished, again, when it's dry, you can come back in and erase the pencil. But that's how you're going to do it. When you get to the white parts, I would do the .05. I would not have hardly any up there. I would do it just super wide apart so that it's not totally blank. If it's blank, it's kind of boring. So let's look at this. There's not much blank. You, they did scribble big scribbles across, which is fine on this one. It looks nice. But for this one, they scribbled verticals but far apart, and it made it really pretty. So what I'm trying to say is don't leave a bunch of blank space. On this one, there was no background left, so they scribbled out there, but they made sure that there was a differentiation between the scribbled lines of the hair and the back space. It kind of feels like um, energy coming off of her. This one, they wanted to make the smoke be a big deal, so they had to leave that white, and this is a great design for that, and this is a great design for that. So remember, what you're trying to do is be a really good designer with your scribble. Okay, have fun with that, and have a good week. Make sure to take a photograph of it, label it correctly, have all of the edges, and then uh, submit it into Submit Homework Here Module 1 prior to the due date time. Okay, so we did it. We did Module 1. We are on a good start. Thanks for doing that with me. I look forward to doing Module 2 with you also, and God bless you all.